all right guys what's going on gonna be bringing you guys another build video build video today on the division two and yeah hope you guys just really enjoy i put this chameleon build together recently and i really like it i wanted to showcase the chameleon today just because i feel like a lot of people kind of overlook this weapon just because it doesn't have its base damage isn't the greatest um and plus there's a lot of you know a lot of people talk about the weapon handling which is not the greatest also but i feel like with this build improves a lot of it and definitely gives you you know a little bit more gives the weapon a little bit more it it makes the weapon hit a little bit harder you know because i know it's kind of hard to run this this weapon just with anything but i think with this build it's it does a pretty solid job all right so i am running the four piece striker set um the two pieces will give you that 15 percent weapon handling and the three pieces will give you that 15 percent rate of fire which again the chameleons i mean the chameleons uh stability isn't it's pretty nice but i think the problem is is that accuracy it just needs a little bit more you know the grouping isn't the greatest so with that weapon handling i think it gives it and the reload too also gives it a little bit more of a you know of a buff and that three piece will give you the rate of fire which is pretty nice we are sitting at um 1035 rpm so a uh, pretty good rate of fire i think without the 15 percent rate of fire you're sitting like around nine i think it's like 950 or something i'm not too sure though um bit yeah the and then the four pieces will give you strikers gamble weapon hits amplify total weapon damage by 0.5 percent stacking up to 50 times so again 0.5 50 times that's 25 percent amplified damage just for hitting just for um you know hitting your enemy uh, stacking up to 50 times two stacks are lost each second so it's you know you can honestly keep the stack up as long as you can as long as you're in combat and as long as you're hitting enemies um you can keep that stack up you know pretty good um the strikers uh gear set did get a buff recently um not too long ago i believe uh so it a lot of people are running the strikers uh striker gear set more just because of the you know buff it got and on the mask we are run i am running weapon damage crit damage and another crit damage mod for the chest piece i am running the fenris chest piece giving me that 10 percent assault rifle damage weapon damage crit chance crit damage and another crit damage mod and probably one of my favorite talents to run four ars obliterate Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds, stacking up to 25 times. I showed you, I think I showed you guys Obliterate in the last video I made with an AR. So, um, again, Obliterate is a great talent. Um, weapon damage. Oh, sorry. On the holster, we are running weapon damage and critical hit damage. For the knee pads, I am running also weapon damage, critical hit damage. Um, for the gloves, again, weapon damage, critical hit damage, and for the backpack. Again, you're going to see this in a lot of my builds just because I really love this, um, this backpack. It's, I mean, for, again, for solo players, it's kind of a no brainer. The memento is just, it's, it's great, man. All right. We are running the memento backpack again, giving us those three core attributes, weapon damage, armor, and skill tier, giving you kill confirm. I'm going to run through it. Gives you those long term and short term buffs. That long term buff will give you 1% uh, weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. That is that. That is the long term buff. And the short term buffs will give you that uh, plus 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency. So, yeah, we are running uh, the memento. Um, you guys can, if you guys want to, you guys can run more armor. It's totally up to you. Um, I might honestly switch, uh, put another, put another piece of armor on, but, um, it's up to you guys how much armor you guys want to run. Um, okay. So the chameleon, probably one of my favorite exotics in the game, 
probably between this and the Scorpio. I mean, there's not really another exotic I run a lot of besides Memento. So I do like the Chameleon. Um, it's a great weapon, but I just feel like it does get overlooked a lot just because of its base damage. But all right, let's talk about what it comes with. It comes with AR, comes with assault rifle damage, health damage, and critical hit chance. I wish a lot of these exotics came with um, damage to targets out of cover, but not a lot of them do. So again, the chameleon will always drop with these three rolls: um, AR damage, health damage, and critical hit chance. So yeah, um, pretty good chameleon I got to drop. Almost got rolled, but but yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about the talent. Adaptive instincts hitting 30 headshots grant you 20% critical hit chance and 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds, which is great. I mean, we aren't, we, I think we're like 20% off, uh, 60% in this build. So that 20% will make us hit that cap of 60, um, crit hit chance. So again, this build, this, um, AR pairs up, the talent pairs up nicely with the build. Um, because a lot of times you aren't running enough crit hit chance. So that adaptive instincts, when it kicks in from those headshots, it'll give you that 20% crit hit chance, will, which will most of the time max you out, cap you out at 60. And then the it'll give you that additional 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds, which is great. All right. And hitting body shot, hitting 75 body shots grants you 90% weapon damage for 45 seconds, which is a great, great because... Like I said, this weapon, we are sitting at 95,000 95, damage right now. So with that extra 90% weapon damage, is great. It'll give us a huge buff. And it's for 45 seconds. So it lasts quite a bit. Um, and the last um, is hitting 30 leg shots. Grants 150% reload speed for 45 seconds. Again, with the Chameleon... That is probably one of the biggest problems, the reload and the accuracy. The reload takes, you know, it. I think it's like, it's not too long, but I think that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people turn away from this weapon just because of the reload speed. It's not the greatest. So, yeah, getting that hundred, getting that hundred and fifty percent reload speed for forty five seconds isn't bad at all. It's great. And then all you have to do is hit thirty leg shots. Doesn't take a lot. So yeah. And then buffs refresh when out of combat, which is, which is good. Um, on the chameleon, it comes with the chameleon optics, giving us that 15% critical hit chance. Chameleon grip, giving us that 10% stability, 20% um, accuracy on the muzzle. And uh, the chameleon active camo processor gives us those extra 20 rounds. So we are sitting at a 50 round mag right now which is great um and yeah the secondary i do love running the acs 12 with the striker build just because of the rate of fire it's pretty nice and hits pretty hard um you guys can run any secondary you want honestly um m4 is great with the strikers um uh, pretty much anything you guys can run a shotgun um, whatever you guys want Secondary, I mean, sidearm doesn't really matter. I just run the gunner class pistol all the time. Um, and yeah, let's talk about the skills. The skills I do use the Banshee Pulse just to it. It's pretty. It comes in handy a lot just because of the effect it has. Applies disorientated status effect on the target, which basically, if you guys don't know what disorient means, it kind of just confuses them and makes them, you know, kind of puts them in like a like a how do you say like um like a daze or like a stun state to where they don't move so yeah it's it's, um, it's pretty nice and as you can see we are running the momentum so again it's great because it will always give us that skill tier for our skills so we are you know our skills are buffed um so yeah and then again probably one if not probably one of the most you know common used skills with Pretty much any AR slash DPS, the Crusader Shield, just because, as you know, the enemies in this game hit hard. Um, so, I mean, I'm honest. I some There's, you know, in my last video, you saw I got down just because one wrong move and all it takes is a couple shots from those NPCs and they'll, they'll put you down quick. 
Um, so yeah, I do run the Crusader Shield. We are. It is a skill, uh, skill tier two, um, because as you guys know, um, armor and skill tier gives your the more armor you have, the basically the more health you have on your shield, and the skill tier will also buff it as well. So I am running the Crusader Shield. If you guys don't want to run the Crusader Shield, you guys can run whatever you guys want. Um, it's totally up to you guys. Um, but yeah, and we are running the gunner class again. The gunner class is a great class for ARs just because of the, of the armor on kill and the, uh, rate of fire gives you after kill. So, so yeah. And the med kit is great too. Um, all right. I think I talked about the build pretty good. Um, what I want to go do target loots about an update. We can go do. Let's go over here real quick. Let's go do this control point. There's a resource convoy there, so I might put that extra piece of armor on that uh, striker's piece with extra piece of armor, just to see how it. You know what? I'm a. I'll play one control point without it, and then I'll play the next with. Just to show you guys the, you know, the damage difference. I don't think it'll be that huge of a difference, but um, some people, you know, might just want to see it. But yeah, man, I, re I really love the chameleon. It's one of the exotics I play with a lot. Just because it has a lot of amplified damage to it. Um, but uh, I feel like a lot of people, most of the time, shy away from it. And as you can see, on the on the side of the gun, we are building that stack. Um. Oh no! And look how hard this hits. And as you can see, we already have the um, amplified damage proc, giving us that ninety percent weapon damage, which is great. Let's take this guy out right here. And if we hit those headshots, you see how our um, crit um, crit chance. As soon as we hit those, um, what is it? Um, as soon as we hit those thirty headshots. Um, so as you can see, we are sitting around forty percent crit chance, which is perfect, and one hundred forty-one percent crit damage. So um, as you can see, once we hit that, once we hit those thirty headshots, we will get that cap of sixty because it gives us the twenty percent. So. It's, you know, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we have the little striker symbol at the bottom. And as long as we're hitting the enemy, man, it's it's just giving us more amplified damage. You don't even, you know, a lot of people will switch out the memento. You guys can run vigilance if you want to, I guess, to get more amplified damage. But I do feel like that, you know, it's probably all personal preference at the end of the day. Takes out the, these enemies pretty quick, man. The chameleon is with the right build. Oh, man. man, I've been lagging a lot, man, in this game recently. I don't know why. And the banshee pulse is great just because you catch a lot of these enemies off guard. And look, we already hit those 30 headshots, so we are getting that stack of 60% crit chance. Which is great. Take up this key. Let's go get this loot. Um, nothing there. All right, let's keep going. But yeah, you guys can play around with the build. I mean, maybe switch out the bag if you want. Instead of running Memento, some of you guys might run a run um, Vigilance. I've seen a lot of people run Unstoppable Force. Um, so it's totally up to you guys. Play around with it, and make it your own. It, and you, you don't even have to be like it hits so far, so good from afar. Oh no! No! Why would you do that? 
takes out these enemies pretty quick, man. Chameleon is... As you can see from Gunner, we are getting that, uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to use this med kit. They don't want to use it. And as you can see from the gunner med kit, we do get that bonus armor, which is why I like the gunner class a lot. Where's this guy at? guys are hitting hard, man. As long as we keep these parts up. Mental stacks. Detecting additional hostile contacts. I think this is a resource convoy over here. It is a resource convoy. And as you can see, even though we don't even have the buff, as long as we have. And this is great right here for the Banshee Pulse. Allowing us to hit those. Basically giving us free damage. Takes him out quick. I hit for almost a million now. Oh, I got hit right there. Come on, man. I couldn't move. Take this destroying these enemies, man. Okay, he got me. Alright, let's see if my friendly can come game. Yeah, that was my fault. Don't kill me, man. Get away from me. Yeah, as you can see, again. Yo, how did he kill? Okay. Let's try that again. Man, I almost had that resource convoy, man. Yeah, as you can see, these enemies hit hard. So, if you guys want to, you can stack more armor. But, I was just playing careless there. Man, I hope that, re I hope that resource convoy is still there. Try this again. able to get this resource convoy or no i don't think we were able to get it look at these stacks right here but yeah as you can see man the chameleon uh, it hits pretty hard you know with strikers um but the striker gear set it gives it a lot of amplified damage so thing is the chameleon at range is not it the grouping is not the greatest so again like i said strikers the strikers gear set gives it a little bit of that weapon handling and needs but i feel like it the accuracy is much better
over there. Shit! I can save them. Right, quick. Quick. Ah! Ah! Trading for 800k, not bad. Which is great. Just taking off all that armor. Uh, I really can hide from you now. Ooh, we got a big guy right here. What the? Try to get a loot just updated, I think. Great. Oh, we got rogue agents, I think. So perfect to see if this build is. Test what the community could do. Um. Hitting them pretty hard, man. I mean, Let's see, if we can get this other guy right here. Getting a lot of invisible hand lately. Supply room access unlocked. Got one last for you, and then I got another one here. Um, all right. Anything here? Super nighty. Not bad. Not bad. Um. Mm, this is not a bad badger tough. Oh, well, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. That talent is not the greatest. Friendly combatants detected. Yeah, target loot just updated. I think it's pistols right here. Um, nope. And as you can see, look, we already, like I said, memento. Getting those stacks doesn't take long. So doing, you know, like a control point or resource convoy will give you, you know, we're already sitting at basically at a full stack. All right. Look at this right here. Hmm. Ah, nothing. All right, let's see where else we can. I want to show you guys one more. Mm, let's go do Grupo. Mm, what is this? In the nest. Ivy tunnel. I don't know which one I want to do. Let's go ahead and do this one. The only bad thing about Memento is once you fast travel to a safe house. I think it's only safe houses. It your Memento, your stack will you know it'll go away which makes sense but i wish it stayed i mean at least for pve you know and i want to show you let's put one more let's put a stack of armor oh sorry all right now we have one we're only 1.1 million armor now so let's see the difference in damage output um I like to sit around, like I said, I like to sit around the 900k to 1.1, maybe 1.3 sometimes. 
um, just because, like I said, enemies in this game are, you know, especially on heroic, they hit hard. And if you play careless, like I do sometimes, then you know. All right, so 1.1 million armor striker, four piece. Let's see what this can do. Uh, let's get over here before this guy. Let's get up top, actually. Oh no. Hitting pretty hard still, man. I mean, even though with one point. All right, I gotta get up top. Outcast, man, I hate the fire. Does so much damage to you. And as you can see, Obliterate 2 is rocking. Thongs were hitting those critical hits. Oh, I can't get them from here. Don't shoot me from behind. Yeah, still hitting pretty hard at 1.1, man. I mean, again, just because the you can stack a lot of armor with the chameleon, just because it has that amplified damage. Alright, I think they're on the other side. Who's over here? Alright. Over here. See how fast we can take down this this brute right here. Hold on, let me hit these leg shots so I can show you. Man, see how much damage this fire does? Now look we have all three buffs active. Took him. Yeah, so once you... Oh, those rushes are insane. He's probably gonna die. Right, let's go pick up these stacks over here. I'm lagging. I don't know why, if it's just me or like, I feel like sometimes the servers are just like not it. Most of the time, I get pretty good connection with this game, but lately it's been like, been pretty off and on with the. Taking these guys out, man. The chameleon puts in work. It really does. And as you can see, our striker's battle gear is going down. But as long as we're hitting these shots, it goes right back up. So. I really, I really, um. I'm glad they buffed the striker's gear set. Just because a lot of people were just running the three piece. That's what I would do. I would just run the three piece because it gave me that rate of fire and the weapon handling. And then I'd run maybe like um, an extra, I would run like, like a Cheska to give me that extra crit, crit chance. 
and that'd be it because the four piece would like the the four piece talent just wasn't it wasn't um nobody liked it it was it wasn't the greatest so i'm definitely glad they buffed it all right that's pretty much it i mean even 1.1 million armor it still hits pretty hard so I'm trying to get a good backpack, man. I haven't been able to find a good group of backpack in a, in a while. I have a couple bit. I just want to get a better one. Thanks right. for showing up for his back. These up. Mm, nothing there. Um, let's go. What do we got? Go get this loot. That should be it, man. Um, what do we got here? Damage to armor. Nah, I'm okay. Grab that. Grab this. Grab this. Alright. And this, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, go over the build one more time. Four piece strikers with uh, Memento, Fenris, Obliterate. Again. You guys can switch out this shotgun for pretty much whatever you want. I mean, I just run this shotgun um, just because I like it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, make it your own. You can switch out the bag if you want. Put. I've seen a lot of people um, run Vigilance with it. You guys, um, maybe a general Rush if you guys want to. It's up to you. Unstoppable Force. I mean, it's totally up to you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean... Hope you guys really enjoyed. Wanted to make this build for you. Coming in is probably it's it's, it's starting to be one of my favorite weapons. I um uh, to be honest, I really like playing with it. I can put it on a variety of builds. And uh, yeah, surely want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.